Hey guys, I've got a super old one today. This is a black and white TV and it's portable. It even comes with the cord supposedly so that you can plug it in. I love how it says car and boat. Like that is hilarious. But hopefully this is all factory sealed and we'll find out. Last one that I unboxed, my buddy bought. It was not. This looks good though. This looks really good. We got the the bag. Eh, it's not so promising. I don't ever see that really. Or it's like who knows? Drop a comment if you think that that wasn't factory, but that's their cord for plugging it in. Whole bunch of warnings, I'm sure. <laughs> Don't use any other cord but this chintzy thing. I think that's really funny because it's like the thinnest cord ever, but they say that you shouldn't use any other one. Okay. Uh, in the antenna, has a hole through the bag so that's not very promising either for being actually factory sealed but let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box though somehow whoever sold this probably wouldn't even have known let's see this is kind of weird but Oh, that's awesome. Manufacture date, May 98. So, I guess it's not that old, but for a black and white TV, I think it would be um, like the last black and white TV. <laughs> I have no idea why somebody would want a black and white TV in 1998. That's pretty weird too. So, drop a comment if you can think of why somebody would want a black and white TV on a boat in 1998. That's funny. So this is the crazy power cord. Has an output voltage of 13.5 volts DC, 1.3 amps. And this is how the styrofoam looks. Doesn't have that new fresh feel to it, that's for sure. Like, I would wouldn't say that this was from the factory like that maybe old new stock you know like okay I'll put the bag in there the twisty tie on this power cord does look super legit like the twisty has never been untwisty before and stuff like that all right gosh I hope this one works <laughs> Um, well, yeah, there's my power. Check that. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that if this uh, was brand new, you would have to attach the antenna, but I don't know for sure. Let's see. Got it plugged in. Hey, we got some sound. Oh yeah, we got some, some static. And I've got something really cool today, guys. The Video Volley. This is by TD Manufacturing. I don't know this for sure, but you know, the initials of Ted Dabney would be TD. So that's pretty crazy. He would be one of the creators of Atari. He's the one that would have originally made this same game, I'm pretty sure. And on the back, it says it also, TD Manufacturing, the Video Volley. If anybody knows anything about this thing too, please drop a comment. I would love to know more about this cool game console. And, Nice, I don't even have to use a screwdriver. It's just got little twisty posts on this old TV. Let's see. I'm not sure if it matters which, which post goes where. 
I think that this system, this little video volley would have been a prototype for the later video volley systems, but not sure. It's so strange how the controller cord is unfinished. And as far as I can tell, it looks like that's how it was originally. And the connectors on the front of the console don't look like they were finished either. All right, so I got this thing hooked up. We can listen to some static. <laughs> A little bit of some white noise. Oh, this cord's just long enough. You could have gone out playing video games on your on your boat <laughs> and this is actually the original power cord for this video volley and it says TD manufacturing again I couldn't figure out anything about this company and it used to be the company was in Dallas Texas so really strange and this is the controller plugins. Uh, let's see. There's my little power spot. Oh, well, we did get lose a little bit of lighting. It happens. <laughs> I had to make room for all these big power cords. Okay. Right or left? I don't know which one would... I consider the right player the first player, but I don't know. Let's see if this thing will work as a tester system or not, huh? Um, game, one player. Oh, I'd have to turn the TV to the right channel, huh? Oh, that's so nostalgic. Oh, getting pretty clean. I just need to clean that up somehow. I'm not sure. I have lots of adjustments on the back of this TV, but you can see this works. And I've got one button. I have to select my game though from the front of the system. That's so cool. I can hardly see it though, guys. This is so strange. Trying to show you guys and trying to play at the same time is difficult. I don't know if I can tune this in somehow or... And the game just squeals, by the way. There it goes. It's pretty bad. But... Say it works pretty good I, you know it's kind of hard to tell how the sound is and stuff with my old game console it's like a prototype but yeah guys that was my unboxing of uh this black and white tv the amtel model number zero one two zero and just showing you guys one of the rarest game consoles i own i think and uh, drop a comment if you want to know more about this. I could take it apart. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys.